Hey guys, DSP Fishing in the video. In this video, I'm multi-species fishing with my new canoe. It's a 13-foot Wasatch canoe. I purchased this for $500, and it was a dark green color. The only thing that I did to this canoe was I added a GoPro mount, took uh, the bottom and spray painted it into a reddish camo pattern, and then I slapped on the boat launch permit and I was ready to fish. As soon as I got a bright sunny day, I went to Giver Pincho State Park to do some multi-species angling. I started off this trip by entering the water by myself. Uh, and then I went to, directly to the main channel, hoping that there would be some bass or some other species of game fish cruising along the channel. And I was throwing around a lipless crankbait as well as a bass jig and trying to go and cover as much water as I can that I wouldn't normally be able to do from the bank. Unfortunately, with using the lipless crankbait and the bass jig, I didn't get any bites and had little success, so I knew I had to change up my tactics to some slower styles of fishing due to the hot weather. So I left the channel and immediately I found a nice cove and noticed that there were some fish rising to caddis. I wasn't sure what kind of fish these were, I just saw some rises here and there periodically. Then I took a simple night crawler setup and threw it out near where these rides were to kind of to try to catch whatever fish this was. There he is. Fish on. There we go, guys. Bluegill. Oh, no one. All right, guys. Got a nice little bluegill there. Don't let him go. There he goes. Let's see if we can get another one. <laughs> that is sitting in the water. Alright, guys, beautiful pumpkin seed there. Got some nice looking colors on him. Look at him. He swallowed the hook, unfortunately, so we're going to have to do some surgery with him, but we're going to get him out and put him back. Stay tuned. Here we go. Let's look at our pumpkin seed. There he goes. Let's get another one. After catching my fair share of bluegill, I decided to, to use a Ned rig to try to target some bass. And on the first cast, I got a fish on. I'm using a Ned rig now. Give me another one. Oh, there it is. Got one. There's a nicer sized fish. Alright, guys, just hooked into a nice sized catfish. There we go. Shoot, big bullhead. Nice big bullhead there. We're actually gonna keep this guy. That's a nice eating size one. I was actually on the Ned rig, believe it or not. But beautiful looking bullhead. We're gonna keep this guy and then hopefully do a catch and cook. Stay tuned. And with the catfish on board, I called up Kevin and headed towards the boat launch to pick him up.
All right, guys, we're here with Kevin. Uh, we're in that canoe together. 600 pound weight capacity, and we seem to be pretty stable. Okay, Ke Kevin was actually able to stand up with me sitting down, and I think other than some, if we do some rigorous hook sets, we should be all right. Uh, Kevin's probably going to catch more fish, but I'm going to be going for bullheads. He's more going for crappies and and bluegill and perch. Um, but if we if we catch bass, I might I might throw the bass rod a little bit too. So. Stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, we'll get another bullhead to add to the, or something to add to the catch cook. Let's get at it. If you catch on the bank, you'll probably catch a bluegill, honestly. Kevin's got a bass on the worm. <laughs> Out of that. <laughs> I think it's pretty good for a worm bass, though. Not a bad one, though. This worm's only a bit long. Yeah. Not too bad. Feisty. Good job there, Kev. Once, is that your... Well, how long has that been since you got one? Starfish? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to be a while. <laughs> <laughs> it was a while before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Kevin's got a nice sized bass. You mean land him? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Or do you think you got him? Oh yeah, that's a nice one. I'd say that's maybe 13 inches. Well, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up here with Kev. Uh, Kevin got some nice bass. Uh, we got the nice bullhead that we're still going to do the catch and cook portion of this video. So um, uh, we're going to put the canoe in the the truck. So we're going to cook this guy up. Uh, I'm not sure yet how we're going to do that, but stay tuned for the video. Let's uh, skip to the cooking portion of the show. All right, guys, we made it back into the kitchen now. We have our catfish... Uh, just gut it out right now. I took the head off and took the skin off. And then I have some lemons, some uh, scallions or green onions, whatever you, you want to call them. I think they're the same thing. Uh, I got some regular onions and then uh, a few different spices and uh, then some butter. So that, this is a very simple recipe. It's relatively healthy and uh, it's going to hopefully be great to, great to eat. So uh, we're going to start the cooking process now. All right, guys, first and most importantly, we're just going to want to sprinkle some salt and pepper on both sides of the fish, as well as inside the fish. Next, we're going to add our garlic and herb seasoning. Now, some, we're going to add some chopped chives. Some parsley flakes and lastly a little bit of chili powder just to add some spice to the mix. Alright guys once the seasoning has been added onto our fish it should look like something like this. Uh, it's got uh, all the seasonings mixed in there so now the next step is to add our lemons, our green onions and our regular onions as well as our butter and just mash it all together and stuff it around the fish and then we wrap that into the tin foil. Now that the fish is thoroughly covered with the vegetables. I'm just going to take one last little sprinkling of the garlic and herb over top. Right now the easy part. I uh, got the fish right there in tin foil, just wrapped it up, have it in a little baking pan, have the oven set for 425 and 
We're just gonna wait till this starts flaking off the bone, then we know it's done. Simple as that. All right, guys, we got our uh, fish here and the beautiful looking bullhead. Uh, put the lemons on top and just made a little bed of rice pilaf just to complement it. And uh, yeah, here in a second, we're going to try our first bite of our brown bullhead. All right, guys, as you can see, we have our nice piece of brown bullhead. And uh, first, first try here, uh, we're going to take our first bite. Stay tuned. Yeah, that's really good. Um, you can definitely taste the lemon in the, the uh, dish there. This is a really, really easy recipe. I mean, just about anybody can do this. Just need some tin foil, some butter, and, and lemons pretty much, and then some seasonings. Uh, stay tuned for some more content. Uh, until next time, guys, slay obey, my friends. I'll see you on the flip side.